Hi, this is Julia Whittup with Traveling Shamans Camp and Talk Story Media. We have with us this morning Victoria White Eagle, who is going to be at the camp. And uh, tell us about what you're going to be doing at Shamans Camp, Victoria. Um, well, this year I've been developing my own um, specific line of candles. And um, they're for clearing energy and smudging. So I call them smudging candles. And um, how, how, they, how it works is that I take white sage and I make a base oil from that. And I steep it and let it cure. And then from there, I add the oil to soy wax. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I, make, I either add scents or add essential oils. So that way, when you're burning, if you're looking for fire energy and you want to clear your home, this is a lovely way to do it, and it kind of creates a warm, very lovely ambiance. I put a lot of love and attention and um, affirmations into my stuff. So, um, but I wanted, the reason why I chose candles, I wanted to, people to be able to bring up the tone of their home. So the energy of the sun is a high vib vibration, and it brings up the tone in your house. So not only are you clearing out the negative energy you're bringing in a higher vibration that helps keep it at bay you know so i'm looking to bring light and that higher vibration of happiness and warmth and comfort into people's homes um okay. so i make that i make smudging sprays and i have my own line of skincare i do soaps i make a healing salve of pinion and um, I sell this on my website. I've been traveling the country selling my products. Been doing it for about 15 years. Wow. And yeah, I know. I've been, I've been doing it. I was doing all this stuff way before anybody before else. Not so popular. <laughs> yeah, but you know, now it's like, I feel like it's my time because now I find venues and people that are matching my tone. So I'm very happy to be a part of the shaman's camp. I'm really excited to be there with other shamans and have other experiences. So um, that's kind of what, what, what my plan is and what we're gonna be doing at the camp and, and my future shows. Okay, and I read in your description that you do medicine card readings? I do. So at home, um, I, I give psychic readings and I use the medicine cards. I think they're from Jamie Sam's. And I've had though that same deck of cards for 20 years. And um, I'm a little bit dyslexic, so the more simple it is for me, the better I like it. And um, being native, I've told myself to um, listen to what the animals are telling me. What's their message? So, um, and then I filter it through my perspective and then I'm reading your, your fortune or whatever. Um, I like the deck because it tells it gives you a path and it helps you correct some, some energy to get you from point A to point B. So right. it's a spiritual so teaching. Could you give us a little sample? Tell us how Shaman's Camp's going to go? Sure, you bet. You bet. So I'm just going to shuffle the cards real quick and see what we have. Ah. Get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. Isn't that lovely? That is, okay. <laughs> so on the medicine cards that yesterday I asked, and because um, I got the invitation card. So I did a spread and it said that it was gonna be a golden opportunity, that it was gonna work out really well, and it was gonna be a, a big thing. So I already felt positive about being, you know, um, being at the camp and sharing my knowledge and, and having some networking with you guys. And um, you never know, maybe I can talk you into coming over here and having a shaman's camp in Moab. So yeah, sure. Shaman's camp, red rocks. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. We have the, yep. So um, maybe that's kind of how it works. And then I just kind of talk about the past, present and future um, depending on how the camp goes, I'll be offering that for people that want to have a reading as well. And, um, you know, so I give, so my readings are about spiritual coaching, as well as telling your future and trying to get you to heal. So I'm a healer. So everything I do has a healing 
tag to it, a psychic tag to it, and a native tag to it, if that makes sense. And so, what is your tribe? Um, I'm uh, a mix, so I've got, uh, we call it Black Choctaw, and uh -huh. then I adopted Lakota, so the teachings that I have currently are, are Lakota, and I um, have some Iroquois from my genealogy, but born and raised in Moab, and I've got some Irish in me too. So, oh, uh, I think yeah, that, so people oh. always say, you know, look, you know, they, I think they're thinking I'm Navajo, but no, I come from a different place, but I was born here, and I've just always been here. And, okay. um, yeah, so I find my medicine from the LaSalle's from this Moab area. So I kind of laugh sometimes and tell people I'm a desert witch because I get all my, all my stuff comes from the Moab area. But um, it's fun. I just like to have lots of fun with what I do. Well, and, we uh, are looking forward to having you at Shaman's Camp. Well, I'm excited to see other shamans and see what's in store. And, and uh, I'm excited to be there so, and, and very appreciative of the invitation. Okay, and thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you. You have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.